Well, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I uh, want to uh, uh, share a, a verse of scripture. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8 says this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Um, we're still in the middle of this pandemic. Normal life has been disrupted. None of us has any ideas to when things are going to get back to normal. Kids are at home instead of being at school. Jobs are disrupted. The shelves are still kind of iffy at the stores. And church, we're having to figure out online how to do this. Easter Sunday's in two weeks. And it's going to be weird not, uh, not being able to be together. Lord willing, this will pass quick. But in the uncertainty of our world, everything, I want to share with you today five things that you can count on. Five things that are sure and certain when everything else is uncertain. Uh, Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. What that means is God doesn't change. What God did, he will do and he will always do. And so I want to share five things that God still does. Number one, he still forgives. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We will be celebrating Easter in two weeks. I don't know if we'll be together as a church or if it'll be online, through Zoom, through different um, uh, forms of media, but we will celebrate because Easter is the heart of our faith. Before God fashioned this universe, He knew us. Before He created us, He knew every part of our lives and He knew every sin. He knew every bad thought. He knew every foul word. He knew everything we would do. And he purposed that his son would step down from heaven and wrap himself up in humanity and become one of us and take our sins upon himself and go to the cross and die in our place, be buried, rise from the dead so that we could have eternal life. And when we put our faith and trust in Christ, he wipes that slate clean. He forgives us. He takes away everything. Now, a lot of people struggle with this. They think, well, I don't deserve forgiveness. Well, the reality is none of us deserves forgiveness. God does not forgive us because we deserve it. He forgives us because he's merciful, because he's faithful, because he is gracious and loving. And if you think your sins are too great that God can't forgive you, one of my favorite verses is Romans 5.20 says this, where sin increased, grace increased even more. What that means is on your worst day, the worst thing you ever did is no match for God's grace. God's grace is greater than anything we can do. He still forgives. Number two, he still heals. This pandemic, it's got a lot of people concerned, and we should be concerned, and we should take it seriously. Um, but the reality is God is greater than what goes on inside of our bodies, and he's greater than what goes on inside of our minds. And God is still able to heal a broken body or a broken mind. 1 Peter 2.24 says that by the wounds Jesus suffered on the cross, we are healed. And so when we face sickness, we can go to God in prayer. In fact, the Bible commands us to. It says, call for the elders of the church to pray over you if you're sick. Well, we can't gather together right now. Pick up the phone. Ask for, for, for a fellow believer to join with you in prayer. If you're, you're hurting in your body, something going on. Our God is stronger than any sickness, any disease, any illness that we will ever face. Third thing you can count on, God still provides. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 7, ask and you will receive. Uh, we're still facing shortages of things at the store. Uh, there's still times you wonder, where am I going to find toilet paper? Trying to find a bag of potatoes this week has been a challenge. God wants us to take every need to him in prayer. He has promised he would meet every need. And you can pray specifically. It's okay, God, I need this. I need that. I need you to come through. Because he has promised to take care of us. I want you to understand, God cares about every part of your life. He cares about you, your family, your children, your children's education, your health, your job. Every part of your life he cares about. And he will meet every need. David said in Psalm 37, 25, I was young and now I'm old. But I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. 
So we can count on God to take care of us, even when the store shelves may seem a little bare. God is still faithful. We can count on God to give guidance and wisdom. He still gives wisdom. James 1.5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, ask God who gives generously without finding fault, and you'll receive it. God wants you to make wise decisions and right choices, especially in a time like this when everything is so unstable. If you ask God, Lord, show me what to do. Show me how to structure life. Show me how to, to weather this storm. He will do so because he wants to bring you through this. And the last thing I want to share that you can count on in this uncertain time is God still finishes everything he starts. The Apostle Paul in Philippians 1.6 said, I'm confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. See, God draws us to himself. He starts the whole thing of life in us. And God is at work in us and was at work in us before we even had a thought of him. And the Bible says that what he began, he will finish. Our responsibility is, is to keep our focus on him. Hebrews 12, 2 says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher, the perfecter of our faith. You see, it doesn't matter what the circumstances of our life is. It doesn't matter what the crisis may be, whether it's a pandemic or an economic crisis or anything else. We walk with God. We put our trust in him. We trust in Christ. He will carry us through everything. Because he's greater than the storms we face, he's greater than the problems we face, and he will bring us safely through. I want to pray for you. I trust that God will carry you through everything because he is faithful. Father, thank you, Lord, for the promises of your word that you have everything under control. All of our lives are in your hands. And Father, you are faithful. You are faithful to forgive when we ask for forgiveness. You're faithful to heal. You're faithful to provide. You're faithful to lead. And you are faithful, Lord God, to finish this work you started in us. I pray, Father, for everyone who hears this message, that you would strengthen their faith and you would show yourself faithful to them. In the name of Jesus, amen.